you know, I'm very familiar with the lymphoma literature, so uh, I'm not an ALL specialist. So, uh, so I would say that actually the persistence alone is not necessarily what matters. What matters is how the patients are doing. And uh, at least in our experiences, the, the duration of response is remarkable. So, um, you know, we, uh, we participated in several trials, but our first trial using the, what later became Tisagen Laglusa, started in, uh, the first patient was treated early 2014. And, uh, you know, when we published the data, the median follow-up was about 26 months. And we showed that the median duration of response hasn't been reached in those patients who uh, had a CR. And we just recently uh, sort of reanalyzed the data with much longer follow-up. And now with 46 months of follow-up, still the median duration of response hasn't been reached. So, so I think that the duration of response and the persistence is not necessarily the issue, at least in the lymphoma world. It's really more the, you know, the overall rate where we see the complete response rate anywhere between 30 to 40 percent. So we really are mostly now focusing these days on figuring out how we can improve that number and those, you know, 60 to 70 percent of patients who don't get complete response after, C, after a treatment with CAR therapies in uh, diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, transformed follicular lymphoma, how we can improve that. So whether it's combining it with um, other agents, so we're conducting studies with uh, combinations of CAR therapies with PD-1 inhibitors or uh, BTK inhibitors. Again, the whole idea is that perhaps we can overcome one of the mechanisms of resistance, which is T-cell exhaustion. And so maybe combining these uh, agents, even though, again, we have to be cautious about uh, increasing toxicity when we combine uh, uh, immunotherapy like uh, PD-1 inhibitor with CAR therapy. But uh, again, these are some of the studies that, uh, you know, we're interested in other than, you know, improving the constructs themselves, uh, as well as, you know, perhaps targeting multiple um, uh, targets uh, with one CAR cell. Uh, there have been some interesting studies targeting both CD20 and CD19, which could potentially, again, prevent one of the other ways how we feel these, uh, uh, you know, these cells escape the control by CAR, which is the loss of the target antigen, CD19. And so if we attacking two antigens at the same time, perhaps this, this would be less likely.